Hello, if you've purchased a new printed circuit board for your old Sommer Sprint operator and you wish to code in your existing or new handsets, this little video clip demonstrates the simplest way to do it. First of all, please turn off the power to the electric operator. Okay, we've done that. And take the housing off the control unit. Now we can see the printed circuit board. With the old style handset, if you clip off the side to expose the battery, and please make sure you have a new battery in when you're coding it in. Okay, so we've taken the cover off the handset, and we can see that we have four pins, and we have four holes which correspond with the same pins on the printed circuit board. So if we take the printed circuit board out, and we can see what we need to do. Firstly, Make sure that this little black button is pushed forward towards the light bulb, which means we're on the right channel. Next, all we need to do is plug in the handset, make sure all eight pins go into the corresponding holes and push it home firmly. Now, at this point, we just need to choose which button we wish to code in. It could be either or, but we'll press and hold down this button and the printed circuit board will flash let it go, now press it one more time. When the light goes off, you've successfully coded in your handset. Put the board back in and place firmly back into position. Put the aerial to one side. Just pop that back on there for the, the purpose of sealing it up. And then put the slide cover back onto the handset Turn the power back on, light bulb comes on, OK, and if we press now the button on the handset, the operator works. Any further information, please contact us on sommeruk.com. Thank you.